Welcome back to Faith Talks, where we talk faith. We are going to talk about what you do when you are spiritually tired. I have to give a massive apology. I have been ghost. I've been absent. I haven't posted a video in about three or four weeks. I was tired. I was tired. I was physically tired. I was emotionally tired. I was spiritually tired. And I just needed to have a, a break. And a lot of us can get caught up in, in constantly serving and constantly doing things for other people and constantly getting involved in different things that we, we kind of lose ourselves. We lose our peace and we just feel dry because we're just giving, giving, giving. And we don't feel like we're being filled up at all. You guys have stuff that you're you're getting on with. You got stuff at church that you're dealing with. You got family issues you're dealing with, and sometimes you can feel spiritually exhausted. And that's what I want to talk about in this video. I want to talk to you about what I had to do and what I think all of us have to do at one point in our lives to to get through that spiritual drought. But before we get into the video, I want to say thank you for everyone who is returning to this channel. And if you are new to this channel, then please, please, please hit that subscribe button because every week we will be uploading videos that help you grow in your knowledge and your love for Jesus. I had to retreat, regroup, restart. I had to get away, I had to just step away from everything that I could step away from and just take a break, man. You will need to retreat at points. You will need to just step away from what you're doing. I know that you, know, you wanna be there for everyone and you wanna get everything done and you want to accomplish everything, but trust me, you will put burdens upon yourself that God hasn't placed on you if you don't just step back. Even Jesus needed to retreat. In the Gospel of Mark, in the first chapter, right when Jesus began his healing ministry, there was a time where Jesus just stepped away from the whole crowd and he went away to pray with his father. If Jesus needed to step away from the busyness of everything, then who are you or who am I to try and think that we can just you know, keep it moving and not take that time away? But that's all well and good. You can step away from what's going on. But if you step away and then step right back into what you left, then nothing will change. And that's why it's so important when you do retreat to take time to regroup. This was the next step for me. Once I'd stepped away from everything I was doing, I took a lot of time in prayer, in Bible reading, in getting counsel from people to really realign what is my vision? What is my passion? Why am I doing the things that I'm doing? Why, why, why? Like literally asking those questions. Why am I doing what I'm doing? And is this a priority? Should this be a priority? Is this what God desires for me to be doing right now? Because if it's not, then I'm giving energy, passion, you know, effort to things that don't even deserve that. And you, if you're in this place of spiritual drought or spiritual burden or anxiety, then you know you might need to really consider are the things that you're wasting your energy and your effort on and your your spiritual attention on are they worth it? Again, this is something we see from Jesus many times, especially in Mark chapter one, where he steps away from the crowd and he prays. He prays all night to his heavenly Father. He prays so much that when the disciples come back to him and say, Jesus, everyone is looking for you to be healed, because Jesus had really focused his mind. He knew his mission. He replied by saying. Let's go to the next town to go and preach because that's why I've come. I've already preached here, so let's go elsewhere. He knew what his calling was. It wasn't to come and heal everyone. That was a part of the ministry, but the true aim was to let people know about the good news of the kingdom. That's what he was about. When you retreat and regroup, you have better perspective to know the path that God wants you to walk down. Okay, cool. So I retreated, I regrouped. What's next? Restart. Get on your grind, get up, go. <laughs> like Jesus, once he stepped away from the crowd, prayed, he got up and went. He went to the next town because that's the next step. But he went forward knowing exactly what he was gonna do in the next town that he went to because he'd taken that time to retreat and regroup. I stepped away from everything. I regrouped, I realigned my priorities and allowed God's word to guide me and direct me. Now, well, I'm ready to go, man. I'm ready to get going. I'm back here making videos, I've got a plan for how we're gonna move forward in 2018. And um, I'm a lot more clear about where this is going. And I'm excited, I can't wait for you guys to see what we're gonna be getting into in 2018. It's amazing, it's gonna incorporate some of the questions you've asked me. It's gonna incorporate some of the things that are on my heart in terms of discipleship and in terms of um, how, to, how to really grow as, as a believer, how to really mature from, um, from what I've experienced in my five years in Christ. And I could only have this clarity, this confidence moving forward because I've stepped away from the noise 
I've got myself into the quietness of the voice and the word of God through prayer, through reading his word, through counsel. And now I'm, I'm so confident in the steps that I'm gonna take moving forward. And you, in whatever, whatever ministry, whatever service, whatever, whatever you do, even if it's just school or work or um, going to the, I don't know, fitness or something like that, once you've taken that step away and you've regrouped and really thought about what's the vision here? You move forward with so much more confidence because you know that the energy you're going to use, you, first of all, you get a break, you get a breather, and then you know that the energy you're going to use there is going to be put in the right place because you've realigned, you know where that place is, you know where that path to walk down is when you're in that time of spiritual drought. Even if you're not in that time, even if you're not in that place now, you know what I mean? Even if right now, you're quite comfortable with how you're serving and you're quite comfortable with your capacity and your energy levels are, are good. I, I'm, I thank God for that. I'm so grateful that you're in that place. I want you to hold on to this for the times when it gets tough. For the times when, it, when it's not fun to be fulfilling your responsibilities, just remember, retreat, regroup, restart. So that's that. Um, that is everything I wanted to share on this. I know there are so many more things that could be said, but that's what my month has been like, so I wanted to share that. But I, I really do want to hear, what do you guys do when you just get spiritually dry? When the going gets so tough, what do you do? How do you respond? Let us know down below in the comments so that we can all be blessed by what you have to share and that we can build each other up. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you've liked this video, then all I ask is that you give it a thumbs up. If you really like this video, if you found this video helpful in any way, then please share it with somebody that you know will also be helped by this video. And until next time, peace and blessing.